Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, I'm going to do a quick video today. I'm going to show you the new God resolution that all the pros are starting to use in Chapter 2, Season 3. And I'm going to show you how to properly change everything so you don't get input lag or stutters in Fortnite when you do it. So I have a shortcut already for uh, percent local app data, but I guess I'll do it this way. Uh, local app data percent enter find fortnite game rename it already done this once so you can see that i changed it and you can delete these after you change them as well so then you're going to load up fortnite So when Fortnite connects you here, you're going to decline best settings. Go into Battle Royale. Skip this. Close. Never show again. And go to settings. Make this epic and then change everything to what you changed before. So 240 FPS. Full screen shadows off, anti-aliasing off, I have my textures on epic, effects on low, post-processing low, desync off, motion blur off, show FPS on. I've been using DirectX 11 and 12 this season. I've been trying to figure out which one's the best is though. I haven't figured it out with this new resolution though. I'll let you guys know in the comments if I figure out which one's the best. But I would definitely use DirectX 11 if you don't have Windows all the way updated your GPU all the way to the new update in July uh, 2020, or um, if your machine just isn't that powerful, I wouldn't use DirectX 12. And after you set this up, you're good in Fortnite. So close Fortnite. So now we're going to go back into that same uh, percent local app data. I create a shortcut so I can get to it easier. So now Fortnite game is going to be the one that you're going to be changing to. Saved config, Windows client, game user settings. Scroll down. To resolution. 1698 for the X and 1080 for the Y. You'll have the best results if you change it for every single spot. So like even the last confirmed desired screen width, you're going to want to change that to get the best results. So we've got that 1698 by 1080. File, save. <clears throat> and you're good to exit out of that. Now, next step is changing the resolution of your monitor. So for me, I go to NVIDIA Control Panel. Change resolution. Customize. Enable. Hit this box. Enable resolutions not exposed by the display. Create custom resolution. 1698. Make sure this is progressive. Make sure it's your refresh rate that you want. Hit test. Boom, it works. Save resolution. Hit OK. And you got to scroll up and click on it. Hit apply. Yes. So mine looks like this with the black bars because I have no scaling set right here. For adjust desktop size and position. So you want to go to full screen. Override the scaling mode set by games and programs and use your GPU if you have any of the 60, 70, or 80 series. So that's like your 1060, 1070, 1080, or the 20 series as well. Um, if you have something lower and your monitor supports display scaling, try the display scaling, but you'll get better picture if you use the GPU. So now we got that set up. Just one thing I forgot to say, you want to go and click on game user settings, properties, read only, apply, so that way every time you load up your game it stays in the stretched resolution. But now after you do that and after you've changed to full screen, 
there's a few steps you want to do to ensure that everything is running properly. So first step is Epic Games Launcher, Library, hit these little three dots here under Fortnite, verify the game file. This will help immensely with end game stuttering, um, stuttering when you first change your resolution, stuttering when you first change anything in the game user settings, such as like the show grass or the shading quality. I leave everything default because my PC can handle it, but um, anything you change, make sure to always verify your game file. It will help immensely with any stuttering that you get during the game. So I'll come back as soon as this is done verifying. Okay, so now that it says launch again, we're good to go. One last step now before you restart your PC before you play. You want to type in defrag, defrag and optimize drives, and hit optimize for your C drive. Says OK. Boom. Now time to restart, and I'll show some uh, creative free building.